Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Uh, please excuse my uh, my sniffles. I'm a little. I have a cold yet again somehow. Um, but this is an important video to make because I know a lot of people suffering from uh, narcissistic abuse, emotional abuse, verbal abuse are looking for resources. And the first ones that I came across many years ago now were on Reddit. And Reddit has uh, uh, you know uh, garnered a well deserved reputation as being an excellent resource for uh, for people in this space. And I think that's because Reddit, as opposed to other social networks, has had anonymity baked into it from pretty much day one. So people in the early stages of narcissistic abuse need a safe, sp safe space to talk online um, where you know they're not gonna be doxxed or uh, discovered by their abusers. And Reddit is perfect for that. Now, uh, this particular Reddit I wanna start with, RBN, Raised by Narcissists, has actually uh, become quite famous, even outside of Reddit. There's been CNN articles and mass media articles written just about this subreddit. I am convinced that this subreddit provides a lifeline out of abuse for countless people. Now, by the way, I've had many criticisms of Reddit. Uh, there is a lot of toxicity on, the, on there, um, but uh, when it comes to this particular aspect of Reddit, the communities for helping uh, survivors, uh, and those entangled in abusive situations, it's just a um, unbelievably healing and helpful place. So let me show you guys some of the communities. So if you're currently experiencing narcissistic abuse, this one, the RBN is a really, really uh, good community. It's raised by narcissists. And this is when I first began posting here years ago was when I began realizing, and a lot of people have had this eureka moment that, hey, all our experiences are so similar. We're talking about people in different countries, different religious backgrounds, different sexual orientations, and yet the common threads that unite people sharing their stories of abuse here are, uh, it's impossible to ignore. Now, when you post in here, you're gonna, the, it's a pretty well-organized sub. Generally, the bigger subreddits are, uh, the more regimented they get in terms of rules. So that can be a little bit intimidating at first, but it's important that these rules exist because otherwise uh, it's just gonna be derailed. So you can see as I'm creating a post in Raised by Narcissists, I can go for a support, advice request, happy, funny, progress, rent, rant, vent, question, media, RBN. Now, trigger warnings are there as well and urgent. One thing to say is well, this uh, subreddit's so big, right? 789,000 members, 1,200 people online currently. Um, because it's so big, there's a high likelihood that your topic's been uh, covered before. Uh, so what you can do, I'm gonna open it up in a new tab, is you can just search for a topic by um, uh, by you know adding a few words after this and it'll search within Raised by Narcissists for uh, posts that match that description. So, and there's also Reddit advanced searches. I've done a video about that separately. So I, I'm just speaking to the perspective of someone who's totally new to Reddit because a lot of people have never posted on it before. This is where you'll find the rules. Uh, you can see here, raised by narcissist rules, and there's 15 of them, no personal attacks. Always, always this one's really important. Always assume a context of abuse. Um, the bigger subreddits have wikis. So you can see the wiki for, um, for raised by narcissists. It links off to, it links off from the rules and you can get the rules on a separate page. And this is this is the book. It's not as, uh, it's, it's a friendly community so long as you stick to the rules basically. Um, so that's the first one. Now the first thing to say, another thing to say about Raised by Narcissists, I'm gonna go back to it here, is that it's actually a whole network of subreddits. Um, so you can see, where, where are we? They have also a glossary. Now the first thing you might notice if you're posting on these is there's a lot of jargon being thrown around. There's NC, VLC, gaslighting, flying monkeys, um, lots and lots of lingo that for someone posting for the first time might be confusing. Uh, therefore, they have uh, two useful things. They have this RBN acronym and terms, and this is just basically like a glossary of all the terms and acronyms you'll see thrown about on the subreddit. Family of origin, FOO. They also have a uh, multi, uh, so this is a bunch of different subreddits put together, 17 subreddits to be exact. Um, and if you wanna get a, uh, you can click on new and this way you're gonna be finding posts across, not just Raised by Narcissists, but a bunch of, uh, a bunch of different uh, related subreddits. 
So I mentioned that there was a network of subreddits here, and this can be found at this part of the sidebar. It's called RBN Network and Allies. So Raise My Narcissist, Life After Narcissism, RBN Best of Shit, Ends Say, Narciss Ends Being Narcissist, RBN Life Skills, Managed by Narcissists, I believe is for people who have narcissistic bosses, if I'm not mistaken, I'm guessing. I haven't actually uh, come across this. May as well uh, sign up to that. Um, RBN Book Club, this is actually also sounds super useful because uh, I'm always trying to um, read up more about this. Uh, RBN Movie Night Spouses, Relation Spouses might be useful for the collateral uh, people who have to put up with uh, their partner to suffer from it. The, the one I'd like to highlight though is Life After Narcissism, okay? So this is, uh, I've been uh, downvoted unfortunately. This is how Reddit works. Sometimes you have Reddit stalkers who just uh, downvote everything you do spitefully. This happens to me sometimes. Um, but this is an important subreddit. This is Raised by Narcissists this is for a lot of people who are you know, discovering for the first time what narcissistic abuse even means, what it looks like, what gaslighting is, what flying monkeys are, what um, uh, deflection is, projection, all these complicated terms. And you're just kind of coming to, you know something's not right, but you're just coming to understand it. Then there's another point that people get past sometimes after participating in that subreddit, sometimes after going to therapy. And it's a point where you're like, okay, now what? I want to, I've set up boundaries or I've got no contact. What happens next? How do I begin to heal all the damage? And that's really the distinction between RBN, meaning raised by narcissists, and LAN, standing for life after narcissism. In fact, it says here, a place for those who have survived a narcissistic relationship and now have the needed boundaries in place for safety and sanity. This is a group for people who are no longer engaging with abusers. This does not necessarily mean no contact. It means that you know that you longer, that you longer, I think this should be no longer, engage in the toxic dynamics with abusers. This group is meant as a next step after raised by narcissists, very important. So um, yeah, this is basically, and it has its own set of rules and it also links to the other, um, the other uh, RBN network um, as well as allies. So let me close down that tab and this tab to show you some more subreddits. Um, okay, this one I discovered late in my, in my Reddit career and it's very, very uh, useful. Something that, you know, people who break out from narcissistic abuse and eventually, you know, after it's very common that after many attempts to set boundaries, grey rock, um, establish protection, it just, you go no contact. And then you find yourself, if, especially if you've no other living parent, as a estranged adult child. And this subreddit is particularly, uh, especially to fulfill that need. Therefore, I think it's also a super important subreddit. It's our estranged adult child, 24.3 thousand subscribers, 61, net, 61 here now, a community for adult children where a conscious decision to estrange from one or both of their parents has been made. Estrangement primarily occurs when there is physical, emotional abuse, differing expectations about family roles, neglect, clashes based on personalities or value systems. Parents of estranged adult children are not welcome to participate in the sub, so just to say it's a safe place, in other words, if parents try to stalk you in here, uh, they will be hopefully detected and uh, banned by the moderator. Um, and yeah, so again, you can see here this, when, when, you, when you talk about abuse, there's a lot of different types of abuse. So we can, that's an also important to remember, we can be talking about sexual, abu sexual abuse as well. So I think there's a place for both subreddits. In other words, you know, the narcissistic abuse, emotional abuse focused ones and also these estranged adult child, which doesn't necessarily focus just on uh, narcissistic or emotional abuse. It can also be a place for people who uh, sadly had sexual abuse from their parents and now they find themselves in this unwanted club of estranged children. Um, I did a search on Reddit just to try to find any other ones I was missing. So there is an emotional abuse subreddit. I'm not quite sure. This is smaller than RBN and the other ones is 23K. Um, but you know, I think these all have value and I, I just can't personally don't have bandwidth to participate in every subreddit that might be relevant. Um, you have abusive relationships. And finally, there's one for narcissistic abuse and it's got 118,000 members. 
Uh, so this is um, again on the larger side, not quite as big as RBN and its and its affiliates. Um, not quite sure what the difference is to be honest. I've never really posted in this one, uh, but just to let you know that it's here. So those those are, to the best of my knowledge, the main subreddits out there. I'm sure there's also Facebook groups. I'm sure there's uh, fora, internet fora as well. But that's what I like about Reddit is that, as opposed to being a member of different web fora or bulletin boards you can come to one website and jump between different subreddits uh, and engage in different communities. Um, if you know of any useful subs uh, that I missed in this overview, please feel free to drop a comment. Uh, but for anyone just starting to connect with other people um, online about their experiences with narcissistic, verbal or emotional abuse, I highly recommend all of these as a way to get started. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.